Stage three of Crossing Frontiers, Mission Flight 2012. Finally, HBSIA goes into the desert, going from Rabat to Wazazatz. And the pilot will be André Borschberg. And André, why did you decide to go ahead? This is the first time, I think, that you've done this on this mission flight. You've gone in advance of the rest of the team. Why? What we wanted to do is to combine the knowledge given by the most sophisticated metallurgical models with the local experience, because nothing replaced the local experience. But by combining both, I can, we can fine-tune the models and make sure that what we predict is what will happen. What will these winds be doing as you're heading towards the desert? On one side you have normal winds, like in any other place. But on the other side, as it is very mountainous, close by, uh, we have uh, terminals generated by the sun, which are upwinds, can be very strong. Uh, can be many, many meters per second, up on one side and down on the other on the side. And then, of course, this creates a lot of instability on the airplane and makes it very difficult to handle and potentially extremely dangerous. So you're being buffeted from left to right and up and down. Can the airplane, can you handle that kind of pressure? Have you had to handle that before? Uh, no, I've never been in, uh, with this airplane in this situation. I've been in turbulence, so I know where are the limits and that's the reason uh, I know that we have to be very careful. There will be a point at which there is no alternative left. If we go there, we, ha we have to land there. So uh, that's going to be uh, quite a big suspense because when we decide to go there, the situation is still not appropriate. Uh, so we, ha we have to make sure that it will become appropriate when this decision is taken. Of course, that's the difficult part of it. So take me through the, the, the scenario where Tahan tells you you're not far from Wazazat and in fact there's too much wind. What's the plan? In the worst case, if the winds remain uh, too strong, we would not attempt a landing. Uh, we would go on a desertic area, over desertic area, which is not difficult to find there. And I would need to jump out at, uh, at night and leave, uh, leave the airplane. So of course it's a catastrophic scenario that everybody wants to, um, wants to avoid. That's the reasons why I went to Azazat two days ago, because I didn't want just to go there like throwing a dice. Uh, I just wanted to make sure that uh, we could put the chances on our side by, by knowing enough. And I think this gave me quite a good comfort. So uh, I know it's not going to be easy, but I have uh, the, the, the deep feeling that uh, we know enough to be able to take the right decision there. 